Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and uh, we're reviewing with Selenium using AutoHotKey to drive Selenium. And in this video, we're going to talk to how to uh, send keystrokes or keys to input fields um, and, and actually um, clicking a button. So, first off, um, this, by the way, just this is just a reminder, um, there are a couple different types of when you're reviewing code with uh, Selenium out there and you're searching for stuff, you'll see some that look like this. Uncomment that so you can. So see how this has the find element and then bracket by dot id blah blah blah. This is for Java. Don't don't ever try to use this. It will not work with what um with what we do. Here um, I'm going to navigate to I'm using Chrome. Start Chrome. Go to my site and I'm going to input the second um, s uh, named field. Um, it's actually the input field. And I'm going to populate it with hello world. So I'm going to save this. Actually, you know what? there we go. Save it, reload, and run. And now I opened up Chrome. Here it comes. And there you go. There's the second one. I believe this is the first one. And I'm pausing it. Um, you can see it's populated here. Now, of course, this wouldn't send an enter key. And that's what this next one, which is, uh, it, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, you put in driver.keys and then enter. If you go to, like, this site, here, I think this is the one I was using. Um, let me pull that up. And if not, I have another one. Well, uh, that wasn't the one I was thinking of. Let me see if it's in my other script. So there's the there's one, and and it really doesn't matter, right? We're just using that to get um the keys that are out there. Send keys, keys, keys. Here we go. Uh, I think this is the new one I found. That's the other one was specific to Ruby. Um, this one, I think, is another. It's a, um, tied to a different thing. It's just a little bit easier to read. Um, and here, you can see where you're saying send keys, keys dot arrow left, right? Keys arrow right. Um, and somewhere in here, I saw the keys enter. Um, enter. But notice there's no reference to the driver, right, in, in this link. Um, and let me swap that out with my my one over here because that's the one that's just a little bit more straightforward however notice in mine I put driver in here and so now when I save this reload it and run it it's gonna open up you can see it put the text there and then it hits enter so now it's searched for hello world on my site and that's because I it's like basically typing in here hitting enter after right and if you don't like sending keys I, I have no idea on the reliability of consistency of how well this triggers actions on websites um, and events so there is another way which I don't like but um, you can basically inject JavaScript um, and to me the syntax is pretty crazy but I did get this to work so notice these are commented out we're gonna find the element here this s element the search element and then we're going to pass it arguments zero, um, the first argument, right, I guess is zero based, and we're going to set the attribute of value to hello world. Now I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it. And it didn't work. Um, hold on a second and see. This is working earlier. So I realized I, I had a pause here. Um, and also notice I'm doing find elements by name. Up here I, I had item in here, um, and so I was going to the, the second one. The default will go to the first one, and so I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it, and now I don't have dot item in there, and notice it's going to go to the first one up here, right? I didn't send the enter key, but um, this is another way you can do it, and then let's work on clicking. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm commenting all these out here, and we're going to click on, um, we're going to find the element by name, which is going to be cat, which is the categories. Let me bring over this page here, and you can see um, in here when I looking at that. That's here we go. There, so that's cat, and we're going to basically click this button here. And what I realized was, um, you know what? Let me let me do it incorrectly first to show you. So we're going to set that to zero, which in auto hotkey in JavaScript you typically think that'd be zero. I'm going to run it, and when it comes up here. It says specifically item um, index was outside the bounds of the array 
And so I thought, you know what, let's change this to 1, uh, which normally would be the second thing. However, you'll see in here that BAM! Now it clicked on the the, uh, the drop-down, and now we could, it, we could have given it, I think, any of these numbers, and we probably would have grabbed those. Um, let's see what happens if we put 2. That actually would go to the next one. We'd probably have to click a, a certain element inside there. If there's another drop-down, yeah, th that's not going to work. So, so this would have stayed on 1, and then we would have had to add um, a certain attribute or something in here to click which one we wanted it to click. Right now this is clicking, oops, this is clicking the over, oh, I closed it. I, yeah, Selenium. When you when you reload the script, it, it kills the uh, current running version. Oops. I just reloaded it. Here we go. So it's going to click on this, and uh, apparently I didn't save it, um, but that's okay. So I'm going to say yes here, and we would have to um, determine what the one is we want to click. But uh, that's how you can set attributes, um, set text, the send keys seems to work pretty well. I haven't tested it robustly yet, but it is, and it is different, right, compared to what auto hotkey users are used to, but um, that's it for now. Thanks.